Hi YouTube viewers, welcome back to my next video on Vedic multiplier of two bits. Why I am doing this Vedic multiplier? Because I have seen in many VHDL videos commenting that please tell me the code of Vedic multiplier, please tell me the code of Vedic multiplier. I don't know whether that channel is providing you that information or not, but my channel is a genuine channel. Whichever videos I put, I put the uh, put the code in my blogs. So you can go and find out. And if you have any more things you that require, then you can always comment below. I'll be taking some money because I should also live. That's the reason. So, but I provide the code for you. So without wasting time, let us start. Let us search the Vedic multiplier which I have see so have seen there. So this is a Vedic multiplier two by two multiplier block which they have implemented. So this is the basic gate level diagram of Vedic multiplier two bits. So I have downloaded it from Google. You can able to see. Just write a code. Well, I know most of the members have been watching my subscribe my channel and watching my continuous videos so you know if you get a gate level logic then how to write a simple code of in VHDL program so write it down this is the diagram the diagram is provided in my description diagram link is provided in my description and the code is also present in my description link so without wasting time let us start just a not and b not is given to an and get and it is given to an output my output is declared as c and a and b are my inputs so c of 0 i have given to and get next i have taken an intermediate signal for mul two signals for multiplying a1 and b not and a not and b1 actually first of all you have to learn how how varying multipliers works so if you see for two bits it is straight cross again straight so that is the way multiply the Vedic multiplier so similar kind of thing is present here so if you can able to see logic gate that is the XOR gate which I have implemented here <coughs> so that's the th thing I am going to search in Google so first of all learn how this Vedic multiplier works learn the logic behind it then go for the circuit gate level logic and then you can have a code in your hand you can write on your own don't ask someone that give me a code if you have a logic diagram then you can able to write your code i trust you so <coughs> i have given an xor get and my the output was c of 1 now next s3 which is given uh, which is given the output of a1 and a0 that is nothing but s2 is ended with S3 so end of S2 S1 is end of S2 I have taken S0 S1 S2 okay S1 and S2 ended and then what I have done is then I want again another signal S4 and then C2 for giving that XOR S3 and of this S4 so we will be getting this okay next is the last step is our c3 c3 is of your s3 and with s that's it save the project next check syntax oh i have got one error because i have not declared the signals okay just copy paste the signals i have used your four signals so copy paste the four signals give the names s1 s2 s3 s4 okay s2 s3 s4 that's it save it and now check the syntax then run simulation if you want a test bench for this video or for this code just comment me below so that i can see how many members are crazy about this vedic multiplier and they want really they want the code of it so i want to see that's the reason i have not posted the verilog text picture you can see my in every video i will be posting after the main code i will be posting the verilog text picture you can see three threes are nine and other I have given 2, 3 to the 6, it's working really fine. So this is how Vedic Multiplier is implemented. Thank you for watching this video. For more videos, please subscribe my channel and comment below. If you like this video, just share it with your friends. Thank you.